Factory Home Building Center starting gate rolling here for race number 12, open fillies and mares, and uh, we're going to go upstairs to Vance Cameron for the race call. Nike's Cowgirl, Pretty and Dangerous, Jill of Hanover, Duxy Lane, Miggs Molly, West River Amber, Collective Wisdom, Colleen Finale on the outside. It's the 12th, open mares, top of the stretch. Approaching a start. Up and pacing, Duxty Lane, Ms. Molly, the first one away. Jula Panover is second. West River Amber, third from the outside, fourth. Killeen Finale into the turn, Collective Wisdom, fifth. Pretty and Dangerous along the rail, six. And the trailer, that's Nike's Cowgirl. So they straighten up the back stretch, going to the corner. Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly for Heffern and the leader. Second is Jula Panover, away third. That's West River Amber. Killeen Finale dropped in fourth. Pretty and Dangerous unhurried in fifth. Then six is Collective Wisdom, and the trailer is Nike's Cowgirl. So they wheel by that opening station, led by Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly in 29 and 3. In the two-hole, that's Jula Panover, West River Amber around the turn third. There goes Pretty and Dangerous now, starting from the outside as they race off the turn and move to the stretch. Racing fifth on the rail is Killeen Finale. Then six along the inside, Collective Wisdom and Nike's Cowgirl, the trailer. They're halfway home in the open mares with Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly, the midway point leader. Jula Panover right there, second. First up on the outside, third is West River Amber, 101, and one was the half. Fourth on the cones is Colleen Finale. From the outside, fifth is Pretty and Dangerous. Then six at the rail, Collective Wisdom. Mikey's Cowgirl continuing to trail. They go to the back stretch, second and final time. Three quarters coming next. Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly, the leader on Jula Panover. West River Amber on the outside, third. Racing fourth on the outside, Pretty and Dangerous. Three quarters in the books, and Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly got him there in one 31 and 4, racing around the turn for the final time. With an eighth of a mile to go, Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly, clear by two. Jula Panover, second. Killeen Finale up the inside, third. Pretty and Dangerous, fourth. West River Amber, fifth. Deep in the stretch now. Give her three in a row. Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly, and Heffernan. Second is Jula Panover. Might have been Collective Wisdom, third. 201. One. Okay, here's the slow-mo for race number 12 uh, from Red Shores in Charlottetown. And hats off to Dusty Lane, Miss Molly again. She got away the best from the wings here today. Got to the front and was able to control this right from the word go. 29 and 3 past the opening quarter. Track rate of two seconds off, so pretty good opening quarter. 101 and 1 down to the half. She was controlling in the two-hole was a Jula Panover. First up pressure came from West River Amber, three quarters. She's still there, 131 and four, and then down the lane. Still lots left in the tank. Dusty Lane, Miss Molly, sharp again this week, right from the hop. Gate to wire. She's the winner for Miles Heffernan. Second goes to Jula Panover, and third is Collective Wisdom. Three in a row for Dusty Lane, Miss Molly. We'll see her in the winner's circle next.
Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly in the 12th race winner's circle, Bay Pacing Mare of Five by Brandon's Cowboy. From the boss of the Beak Dam, the boss daughter, owned by Jackie Heffernan of Glace Bay, Nova Scotia, Miles Heffernan training and driving. Another coast to coast victory gives the mare three in a row today, 2 0 1 and 1. Dusty Lane, Ms. Molly in the open mares at Charlottetown.